Class size reduction is very popular among teachers and parents alike. Intuitively, smaller classes should benefit children because it gives more time for a teacher to devote to each student. Yet, the research on this question is surprisingly unsettled. The most prominent evidence on smaller classes comes from the Tennessee Star experiment. This experiment, which was run in the 1980s in Tennessee, randomly assigned students to small or large classes. And what researchers found is the students assigned to smaller classes performed better in school and even had higher earnings as adults. However, when economists started to look for the beneficial effect of smaller classes in other contexts, they struggled to find any effect. One prominent reason this could be is something we call general equilibrium effects. Specifically, when you lower class sizes, you also have to go hire new teachers. And if these teachers are of lower quality, this could wipe out the effect of smaller classes. And indeed, this is what we saw happen in California when they implemented a huge class size reduction policy in the 1990s. The need for new teachers caused a sharp increase in inexperienced and uncertified teachers, which wiped out the beneficial effects of smaller classes. Now these teachers may, over time, improve, but this, combined with the high cost of class size reduction, makes many question the effectiveness of class size reduction policies to improve education.